Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we'll talk about a new topic, which is wastewater management. So this would be a kind of introductory video for wastewater management in which we'll define the term wastewater. We'll talk about the sources of wastewater and we'll also discuss about what is wastewater management and we'll also uh, take a brief note about different types of wastewater and how can we manage them. Uh, so let's get started with that. So talking about the definition of wastewater. So the definition lies very simple and you all have been studying from your junior classes and you all are familiar with this wastewater term. So you can see there are different images on, available on your picture. So there are four different images that you can see. So there is one image that is known as agricultural runoff. We have rain, storm water runoff domestic wastewater industrial wastewater so there are four different types of wastewater uh, that are uh, excreted or that are available in the environment uh, that is everyone that everyone is known about so what is base uh, wastewater in general so it's the water that contains waste substances from home factories farms and etc also water that has been used in the home, in a business or as a part of industrial process. Also it's used water containing physical, chemical and biological impurities in it. So there are different types of wastewater that you can see in these four different pictures. And we are very much familiar with these types of wastewater. We have, all, uh, we have heard the names of all these four. So these are very common names and wastewater is something that that is uh, that exists in our environment and that will be always there no matter what so also you can define it as in the fourth point itself that it's any water that has been adversely affected by anthropogenic influence or the wastewater can originate from a combination of domestic industrial commercial or agricultural activities so this is a very uh, layman's term definition of wastewater so which contains impurities which contains uh, which is something that has been uh, excreted, uh, excreted out from your homes factories or farms so moving with that so talking about wastewater management so we just talked about what is wastewater so let's get into wastewater management what it is all about so wastewater management in simple terms is nothing but just managing the waste that has been accumulated over time so wastewater management includes both treating and reusing of water so what basically or what in simple terms wastewater management does is we take the take the wastewater and treat it under uh, different plants or you can say sewage treatment plants but those treatments are definitely a costlier treatment also that requires a lot of space a lot of money a lot of devices so to implement that so but not everyone can afford that actually but slowly and steadily those sewage treatment plants are getting implemented uh, everywhere in the country and also in foreign uh, that we see in us and uk uh, which we normally see so this particular uh, treatment uh, so this particular wastewater gets treated in these plants and after the treatment we get a water or somewhat a purified form of water which can be reused in our day-to-day -day lives also the treated water should follow discharge and reuse standard guidelines so there's a guideline that has been made by the government so for that a uh, serious treatment plant has been implemented in various areas and after the treatment that water should take all the boxes of the guidelines so that it's uh, pretty much safe for use also it can be used for human consumption agricultural activities industrial purposes or discharge into surface water bodies so it's also written here that it's it can be used for human consumption so for human consumption it should be uh, impurity free it should be purified to a level that it does not harm the human being so the purification must take place at a very high and a large scale so that it's available for human consumption so the trees after the sewage treatment plant there are other filtration method or uh, treatment method that goes uh, that the water that the wastewater goes through so that it's available for drinking also it must be clean enough so that it can be used 
by people for drinking and washing and by industry for commercial purposes and it is also must be clean enough to release into ocean lakes rivers after it has been used so it can be also used for releasing the rest amount of water after treatment that could be released into the water bodies so so that the uh, the ocean or the water bodies don't get polluted with the waste water with the raw waste water uh, instead it gets treated with the uh, purified or treated waste water so that it does not harm marine or sea bodies so moving with that so talking about a difference between a very common difference of pollutant versus contaminant so pollutant is something so when the concentration of a substance already present in a nature or of a substance increase to undesirable proportion causes danger to human so pollutant as we know we are very familiar with this term as also so there are different types of pollutant that is already present in the air that we breathe in so which can we which uh, we hardly can do about anything so we generally use face mask another face shield or uh, different sorts of uh, covering our face with something so that uh, we are uh, we don't inhale that air so pollutants can always create harmful effects so pollutants definitely will create harmful effects over a long period of time and coming to contaminants so a substance which does not occur in nature but is introduced by activity into the atmosphere affecting its composition so it so contaminant does not occur in the nature but which is brought into something so it does not really exist like a pollutant but it is brought by mixing with something or with something or the other and it is brought into the activity or brought into something so that it destroys its proportion or it destroys the purity of that substance so contaminant does not always create harmful effects so there are you can say you can or it's always a debatable topic so contaminants can or sometimes it cannot depending on the impurity created by the contaminant so moving with that so talking about waste water types so there are two main types one is the non point sources and the other is the point sources so we'll discuss about the difference between the two and what are these two so talking about the point sources so the main point sources are the factories and the uh, vessels or the water bodies and talking about the non point sources are the roads the developmental areas the farms the cities so these are two different types of waste water or two different types of area or sources you can say sources of waste water uh, that is that gets accumulated every now and then so one is the point and other is the non point so with that moving to the difference between the two so what is point and what is non point source of pollution so talking about point source pollution it is also represented as psp uh, non point source pollution is given as nps so talking about point source pollution so it is easy to monitor above and below discharge and dilution rates can be calculated so the dilution rate or the contaminant rate added to the added to something can be calculated also it's relatively easy to control because the type of contaminants and location of discharge are not known so it's quite or it's comparatively easy to control because of the type of contaminant and location of discharge is known so there are two types as you know point sources so one is the factory and the other is the agricultural discharge you can say or the water bodies so there are two di uh, different types of point sources and talking about non point sources you can see the roads the city waste and everything so for point sources it, it it's a it's kind of easy for calculation because we know that number of contaminants or the kind of contaminants it will go through also discharge usually is controlled by permits and industry can be fined if they do not commit with permit regulations so that so point sources mainly include the industries and they are given a kind of a protocol through which they have to follow uh, through which the discharge of uh, all the contaminants pollutants and different kinds of wastes are released from the industries so talking about the non point source pollution so it's difficult to monitor and requires many stations 
दिस इज बिकॉज नॉन पॉइंट सोर्स पोल्यूशन is uh, uh, is available or is caused in a larger area it's caused in a huge amount of area so there's no specified area for non point source pollution whereas point source pollution is pretty much confined to a small area which which we can say such as industries so we know kind of contaminants and waste water they release into the water bodies and also about some of the uh, uh, you can say agricultural lands the herbicides the insecticides that are used in the uh, lands but uh, non point sources are remaining the agricultural lands and the uh, industries all the other sources are non point source pollution so the area is quite large and it's and obviously it's difficult to monitor them and thereby many small diffuse sources from different locations so it's difficult to control so uh, so covering a large area and the kind of pollutants and the contaminants actually is not very much known and the individual contributions are small but cumulative effects can be significant yeah this is a very valid point which says individual contributions contributions are small so as individuals we might contribute very very little or you can say it should be uh, we are contributing uh, which tends to zero you can say we are contributing almost nothing so in, uh, in individual contributions are really really small but the overall effect or combining the effect of each individual over the large area becomes a uh, very thinkable and a very significant issue so coming to the last one which says that it's difficult to develop permit systems and difficult to enforce regulations so some of the it it, it is difficult to uh, develop permit systems because some of it is caused by nature so there is no permit that works with nature and most of it is caused by nature actually and it's difficult to enforce regulations on them and cause it's the city people and those uh, set of rules cannot be applied to them so these are the two points of differences between point source and non point source of pollution so with that talking about the last part which is the source of waste water so as you can see there are four different types of waste water that we all know about which is domestic industrial agriculture and rainstorm run water so under domestic we have washing laundry kitchen toilets septic tanks schools hospitals offices and small business activities and under industrial we have sugar factories breweries uh, fertilizers pulps tanneries yeast manufacturing and under agriculture we have the point source as well as the non point source so under point source we have poultry waste piggery waste silage liquor uh, daily farmery waste slaughtering waste and under non point source we have the sediment runoffs we have the nutrient runoffs so non point sources include the fields the large fields that are available where the point source include uh, which are available in cities in urban areas or in a confined space and lastly we have rain storm runoff so which is very common in everywhere whether it be cities rural or anywhere so let us keep this video till here hope you enjoy this video and thanks for watching